Hey everybody, East Coast Reefer here. Today we're going to talk about the five fish you will definitely, well, probably regret buying. So, kicking things off with boxfish, cowfish, and puffers. Both boxfish and cowfish can apparently secrete a toxin if they're stressed, which in the ocean is fine because it's got plenty of water to dissipate in, but in enclosed spaces like the tanks, really bad news. Top of this, all three fish are prone to predating on inverts and coral. So rather than that, why not get yourself a Midas Blenny? These fish are awesome fish. I really love mine. It's really uh, such a character, always out and about swimming in the tank, getting into some kind of mischief somewhere uh, and always watching what you're doing. Next we have copper band butterflies. Now these fish are notorious picky eaters and are a bit of a nightmare to acclimate and apart from a bit of success recently with captive bred copper bands they are all collected from the ocean and a vast majority of them die within months of coming into home aquariums. So, so instead why not get yourself a fox face, a one spot fox face or something similar, or even a salfin tang. Um, they're, they're both very active fish in the tank. You can see here my salfin tang meeting the one spot fox face I have and uh, sharing a couple of little kisses. I'm glad to say that they, they've made things up and uh, they, they kind of coexist quite nicely now. And don't go running to the tang police. I will get a bigger tank in the near future. And if I don't get one soon enough for this salfin tang, I will find a nice home somewhere else. And moving on, green chromis. One you probably didn't expect to see on the list. They look awesome schooling in a tank and they have a real nice flash of green. But they have a game they play called murder and they murder one another until there's one left and then that one is just knackered and dies. Instead, go for something like a Bangai Cardinal. And they, they're always quite visible. They have this strange small swimming motion, which means they don't swim around a lot. And uh, they're just generally out and about in the tank where you can see them. So they're, they're great fish to enjoy in your tank. Then moving on to Regal Tangs, and someone's decided it was a good idea to put them in with clownfish here and make everybody think of Finding Nemo. However, Gory does not stay that small. They get huge and they will need a six foot plus tank for swimming space. So really bad idea for the majority of people. Why not get a Naoko Ras? For no other reason than I have a Naoko Ras and they are awesome fish. They're really interesting colors, really interesting swimming behavior and it just really stands out in the tank. I would recommend if you see one, buy one. They are excellent fish. Then my last one on the list, damsels. And they are the psychotic murderous serial killers of the fish world. They will pick on anything and everything in your tank. Do yourself a huge favor and avoid one at all costs. Instead, why not get a firefish? You can get them in purple or mauve, I believe they call it, or red. I have a pair of red in my tank and they're really peaceful, they're really nice to look at, they're out and about most of the time. So, if this is the kind of content you like to see, it'd be really great if you can drop me a like. If you feel I've earned it, maybe subscribe and hit that bell notification. Comment below with maybe a fish that you have bought that you've regretted as well. Um, or, or maybe you've had one of these fish that I mentioned that's been no problem at all. And it, it's been a really great fish. So. Yeah, I'm happy to hear any of those stories. Drop them down below and I'll see you in another video really soon.